And we back! Today, I am randomizing every single set in an NBA 2K24, rebuilding a team, and hopefully winning a championship. So this is how our settings traditionally look when it comes to a rebuild. Everything's 50 across the board. It's been that way for eight years at this point. It's always the way we do it. Uh, today, it's not going to be the case. We're randomizing all of the difficulty settings. Now, the most important one are these top two. The sim difficulty and the trade difficulty. So what I want to do for this first one is we're starting off at 50 as our minimum and the most is 100. If the sim difficulty is 20 or 10 or 0, we're, no matter who's on our team, I feel like I'm winning the championship. So I want to have our base level be 50 and the hardest it can get is the hardest it can get. All right, we ready? Hit the button. It literally went to 100. Whoa! All right. Our sim difficulty is 100 today. Our sim difficulty is 100 today. All right, keep that in the back of mind. Now, the rest, I'm going back to zero as a possibility. The odds of us getting fifth or zero is what? One in five? One in 50? I'm stupid. Yes. Okay, I dropped that. All right. Trade difficulty is going to be 26. That's clutch. This video is brought to you by SeatGeek. Hit the link in the description. Download the SeatGeek app and use code Kenny so you can get $20 off your first purchase of tickets. SeatGeek takes tickets from all over the internet and puts them in one central location for you. Whether it be sporting events, comedy broadway concerts if you need tickets seat geek probably has it anytime you've seen me at a sporting event over the last i don't know five six years i got my tickets on seat geek. let me show you how easy it is right now trending travis scott is coming to chicago in a few weeks okay everybody wants to see dodgers versus cubs because otani and company but let's say i want to go to this bulls game grizzlies at the united center all i got to do is click on the event and you're gonna see your venue with a bunch of dots. The greener the dot, the better the deal. Personally, I like to sort by deal, and the best deal in the entire United Center is getting in at $106, and this will be your view. You can see everything. What if you wanted to watch Bucks versus Pistons? The, the cheapest seat they got is $12 to get into the dough. I know it's the Pistons, but basketball is still basketball. SeatGeek has been a sponsor of mine for many years because it's the only ticketed agent I use myself. So hit the link in the description, download SeatGeek, and use code Kenny so you can get $20 off your first purchase of tickets. Because if our sim difficulty is going to be 100, we need to have some easy trades. How about contract negotiation difficulty? 72. All right, so if we're doing more than one year, even if we win a championship in year one, these type of things are something you see in the offseason, so I, I want to see it in action. The next one, CPU re-signing aggressiveness is a one. Oh, that means every free agent I can potentially get, but it's also going to be difficult. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, morale difficulty is a 72. We got 72 twice. Again, I don't know the odds of that, but it's not very high. Morale effect it's a four. All right, so it's hard to get your morale up, but if it ain't good, it don't really matter. So Nicholas Claxton... Uh, who else be really upset with they touches and stuff? Whoever it is, you ain't, it don't matter today. So we get chemistry difficulty is 75. Okay, so we're seeing like it's going up one to down one and up one to down one. So that's kind of interesting. So next we got chemistry effect. It's only a 25. That's clutch. Now I did keep injuries on because of course these are a sudden. So let's see. CPU uh, injury is a 99. Okay. So that's actually, that actually works in our favor because our sim difficulty is going to be really high, but we might be going against teams that are missing their best players. We need our frequency to be low. Get us a low one. It's 79, so we're, we got a, a high one as well, but it's not as high as theirs. So how much of an effect will that take on the players? Uh, 96, okay, for the CPU. Please let our injury effect be zero. Please let it be zero. It's 42, which is close to, to average. That's all of the real difficulty settings. Now, we also got this, which is the simulation settings. Um, this basically determines how your world is going to be built. It's kind of weird, but like team pace and fast break. If I know the pace is low, I can build my team revolving around it. So let's start up top. Fatigue rate is going to be a 66, which is not that much diff different than the norm. Then we have player recovery rate is a 10. Uh, higher means player recover energy faster on the bench. That I guess that doesn't really matter to us. But, wait, wait, higher means players recover energy faster on the bench. I, and this is simulation. So, when we be having players play 40 minutes, this is telling us that you do that. It's going to take them some time to get it better. All right, team pace is a 98. Everybody's running a gun. And so, I can build my team with that in mind. Team fast break is a 62. Okay. All right. Uh, possessions per game. This is a big one. 37. So, these are kind of conflicting. 
because the pace is going to be high, but the possessions per game is going to be low. I don't know. Total shots, 35. All right. So maybe it's not a fast paced game. Assists, 20, <laughs> 26. Okay. Well, I thought we were going to 2040. Now we're going back to 2002. So steals. Okay. All right. So let's go get some defensive minded players that can reach a bunch. How about blocks? Oh, don't get no Rudy Gobert's. Don't get, the, don't get no Victor with Yamas, the people that get a bunch of blocks because they're not really valuable anymore. Turnovers, 39. Okay, okay. Then we get fouls. Higher means more possessions result in fouls. Fingers crossed this is not high. It's 86. Yo, for real, for real? I want Shea. I want, oh, jo uh, I want Luca. I want Joel and B. I need one of those players today. Injuries. Uh, is, okay, so that's that's not too bad. Now, I'm not going to do stat distribution because I think that changes things too much. But I will do shot types. And that'll be the last one we do. So we start off with dunks. It's only going to be 10 dunks. I don't know exactly what that means, but we're going to test it. Layups are going to be really high. Nobody's dunking, but everybody's getting to the rim. Okay. All right. Shot close. How important is that today? Not important at all. I want to see that three-point rate go real high. I want to see that three-point rate go real high. So a little bit on the medium. Here we go. Moment of truth. 66. We'll take that. Okay, so this is the world we just built. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad, but we're going to find out. So next thing we got to do is randomly select our team. We're going to stop in, in about uh, three, in about two, in about one. We're running with the Minnesota Timberwolves today. Please have a high pick. Please have a high pick. Jokic. Jokic. They drafted Luka. I ain't mad at it either. I ain't mad at it either. I ain't mad at it either. Okay, okay, okay. Now, remember, our sim difficulty is 100. So, us having a top pick means a lot because we start off with a superstar. Man, number one pick is crazy. The odds of that, obviously, not very high. It's about 130. Um, let me stop talking about odds. This is like the fourth time I've done that today. Minnesota first overall pick, baby. Okay, so they drafted us a young team, too. We got Jalen Durham, we got Bilal Koulibaly down there, and Taylor Hendricks. So we got some really good trade pieces. Let me double check again. Our trade difficulty is pretty low, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, am I pressing the right buttons? What do I, how do I even get there? Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, our trade difficulty is a 26. So we might be able to just finesse some general managers. So we got like Clint Capella's contract. We also got Benedict Mathurin here. Um, Jalen Duran and Bilal Koulibaly. Like that's, that's a really good uh, big trade piece. Actually, I want to see what a trade finder looks like in this situation with our trade difficulty is real, real low. We get Jalen Brunson, uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. The trade finder is kind of mid, but the Jalen Brunson thing is cool. I really want to pair Luka up with one of the top bigs involved. Like, big can be a power forward or center, I guess. Um, like, what's the likelihood of we... Like, this is a long shot, obviously. But... I'm I'm interested I'm interested in the I idea of getting one of let's say Giannis, KD, Jane, uh, LeBron James, or one of these top three. I guess uh, don't take him in there too. One of these top four power forwards and one of the top three centers. Like I want to get one of those dudes on the team. Now the problem is again uh, we don't have a ton of super great assets, but maybe I can turn that into something. Let's do like Brody. I love to keep you on the team, but let's say Brody plus Julian Champagne. Could they, could they get us a player of like 83 or above? The answer is maybe not 83 and above, but I saw an 82. I see a few 82s. I see some good draft picks, it looks like. So we got to just make a, a good decision. Um, Zubach is an 82 plus. We get an unprotected first round pick, though it's not a crazy unprotected, uh, unprotected nonetheless. And then his contract at 10 million helps us out a little bit. Um, so Taylor Hendricks, Bilal, and Jalen Duran, Trey Finder. Larry Marketing, Desmond Bain. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go try to build the Godfather trade under these new circumstances and see. Is it e is it easy to trade for a, a 90 something overall in this game right now? So I would be willing to give up Bilal to obviously Taylor Hendricks. And then we need contracts. There we go. You give us back players like uh Xavier Tillman, who's two-star value. You give us back Frank Jackson. We still gotta make a five million. <laughs> this is our whole team. Uh, we give them Zoo, and then y'all give us back a J Jordan Wara. They say, no, we could give you one first round pick. All right. Yeah. It's, it's definitely going to be rough to get there to get these type of players. Yeah. Okay. All right. So even with that, I wonder if I do Duran and Bogdanovich together. That might get us a Larry Mar 
why am I just here with it? That might get us a Larry Marketing. He's the first person that comes up. So we got to figure out what's the most valuable because Jamal Murray is there plus DFS, right? That's an 88 overall player. On this side, we got Claxton and Trey Murphy the third. We also have Jaron Jackson Jr. in a pick. We also got Sabonis and Malik Beasley. And then we got James Harden and Corey Kispert. All of those trades are good value trades, if you ask me. But I think I'm the most interested in the Jamal Murray deal. So let's do the Jamal Murray trade to start off. Let's say Jamal Murray in a pick. Um, there's Jalen Brunson and Zach Levine. Man, Zach Levine's overall keeps dropping. I'm so sad about that. <laughs> there's Paolo Bencaro. Uh, so that's interesting. We can't trade for Palos because his contract doesn't exist. Uh, Trey Young swap is better, though. We trade in first round pick for first round pick. Can I give you this Jazz pick instead? The Jazz pick has similar value. You going to give us a counter? See, now y'all bugging. Hold on. Let's go back to the original trade. I like the idea of bringing in Trey Young right now because uh, we're f swapping first round picks and we get the, the better player at 90 overall. So boom. Perfect. All right. So that's a good. That's a really good one. So if we do Trey Young and I'm going to keep going to the Bilal Kulabali one. And seeing there's De'Aaron Fox, but that doesn't upgrade our talent. There's Kyrie Irving, same overall. It's, it's rare that you're going to see 90-plus overall players in the trade find. I need to just relax because I know that that's just not like. But, like, is, is Trey Young plus Benedict Matherin and Bilal and Draft Capital, is that enough? I don't know. We're going to see. Or do I trade Ben and Taylor Hendricks right now for Lowry? So we have Trey Young and Markkinen. And draft capital, or we go get Kay Cunningham. Like, what? What is the? What do you think is the most valuable to these other teams, man? I've never been in a position to make these super cool, fun trades like that. Let's go, Larry Market, because we got the pick. Okay, so now let's go back to it's the Pistons. All right, let's go talk to the Pistons about Joel and beat again. Again, I, I don't know if we have the assets for, it, but I, it's. I would love to see these two playing together. And the only way we're probably gonna get it is in this fictional world of 2K. So I'm gonna try my hardest. There's Bilal Kulabali too. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to go sign some players. My fault. Let's go sign some players real quick. Okay. All right. Moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth. So there's the Pistons. We say, hey, we'll give you Bilal Kulabali. And then I see a Larry Mark. Well, let's offer this first. They're going to say no. Okay. And then Larry Market, and you got to make a $5 million. I think we can make that happen pretty easily. Johnny Davis is two and a half star value. How is that possible? Uh, TJ McConnell is two star value. They say no. Now we add the draft capital. We got this Bulls pick. We got the Timu, our own pick. Come on now. Come on now. If they don't accept this, it's the best we got. All right. The Joel and B trade is done. It's dead. Let's see if we can use that same trade package to go get. Uh, let's go try to get Giannis with the same exact trade. Now, Giannis is one overall worse. So maybe that's something that we can look into. They need to make $7 million up. You give us back Gabe Vincent. They're going to say no. And now we start adding that draft capital. Boom. Bulls pick. No good. Then our pick. N no good. Then another one of our picks. No, no good. Uh, okay. All right. All right. What if I also, we don't have any more, but Omax Prosper is the same value as that first rounder. If we give you Zubac too, you got to make up 5 million. So we, we take Jay Sean Tate back. Ha ha ha. And then we give you another first. Still nothing. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. Jimmy Ball is popping up in the trade finder. I just don't think that's enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's do all of these guys. Let's do them all. It's Steph Curry. Steph Curry is in the... I repeat, Steph Curry, this is not a drill. Steph Curry is in the trade finder right now. I am not thinking twice about trading for Wardell, Steph, and Curry Jr. And then now we can go get Giannis. <laughs> I love you, Steph, but we already got Luka as a lead guard. We don't need another lead guard. Boom. So we, we made it happen. We parlayed those assets to get two of the top five players in basketball together. Like, come on. Come on now. That's two night of sevens. We got two of the top four, according to 2K, and we ain't done. Now, it's going to be hard to build out the rest of the team, but we ain't done. We still got a lot of draft picks. Usually, you trade for Giannis. You giving up 100 picks. We didn't have to do that. So it's making me say, hmm. We have the contracts of Clint Capella, Dylan Brooks, DFS, Gabe Vincent, and Zubac, right? We, we can probably go out there and go get like a really, really good wing because we still got all these draft picks. So we just got to figure out what wing fits the best for what we're trying to do. At the end of the day, we're trying to put together the better team because 100 sim difficulty is, is insane. Um, so let's just see what we could do. Jimmy is the best small forward in the game. His contract is is ridiculous. What is it? 50 million? 40. Oh, it's 45 million. Paul George is 45 million. Jalen Brown is only 31 this season. Brandon Ingram's there. Um, we can see if we can go get 
I mean, Tatum is going to be hard to trade for regard. We don't have the, the pieces for the Tatum trade. The Kawhi trade is typically a little bit easier. I added them to the list. Um, and I guess I'm adding PG to the list too. Sim PG is hit or miss in game. Uh, I'm, I'm going to trust him though. I'm going to trust him right now. We're going to prioritize Tatum's five-star value. Get off, the, get off the list. We don't have that. We'll prioritize trying to get Y right now. But again, I don't think we got the assets for it, but it's worth a try. Because we, yeah, look at the, uh, oof, it's Zubach. It's Clint Capella. It's Brooks. <laughs> and then you got to give us back some a bad player or two. Give us back Jordan Goodwin. And then we say, hey, here's all the draft capital we can afford in these three slots. Boom, boom. Come on. Another first. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, that's the best offer we got for these teams. So that makes me think that it won't happen. We go talk to the Lakers about Paul George, though. I think that's a real possibility. You know, ask your PG to be the third option. They tripping. Ask your PG to be the third option. Not a bad idea, I think. So we give them Clint Capella, and then we give them Dylan Brooks, right? Boom, contracts match right there. Oh, they think they're a championship contender. No. PG. Ah, that hurts my heart. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I wanted PG on the team. We ain't got it. Now, shooting guards, DeJounte Murray is an 86, and he's on, oh, he's on that Lakers team. They're not going to give us him. Uh, we don't, the, the Anthony Edwards lack of contract prevents us from doing that. We could do just try to go get Donovan Mitchell, or we can be like, hey, Desmond Bain, you're on the team. Brandon Ingram, like have guys that are not all stars, but more like borderline guys, and, and let that be the thing. Let's see. I'm gonna trade for DeMar DeRozan right now, not to stay on the team. Trust, trust. We're gonna trade that up for poor Zingas, maybe to be on the team, maybe not. But poor Zingas plus we got Patrick Williams in the trade. Poor Zingas plus Patrick Williams in this Bulls first rounder. That might hit. There's Zion. The spacing will be awful, so that's making me say no to that. Jalen Brunson just keeps popping up. I'm going to accept the Jalen Brunson deal for now and probably flip uh, JB in a second here. But it kept popping up. He's a 90 overall player. I couldn't just keep looking past it. LaMelo and DeMontis Sabonis is kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of... Now, the fit is not good at all. I don't like the fit whatsoever on this team right now. The talent, on the other hand, is insane. So there's Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown, if we wanted Jalen Brown, but they want too many first round picks. There's Jimmy. Dang. Yeah, it's the Jimmy trade. It's the Jimmy trade. Our spacing is not gonna be pretty, but it's Jimmy. And we brought back Russell Westbrook. But if I do Jimmy in this pick, could we upgrade Jimmy too? Kevin Durant! Hey, the 20, the 28 trade or 26 trade difficulty is crazy. Oh my God, we got 396 pluses. Sabonis, I'm sorry, you're not safe. I'm seeing how easy it is to trade up for players. And we got Jay Nivey right now. Bro, we really just traded up for Kevin Durant, bro. That's insane. Uh, what, do we, what do we have and what do we need? What do we have and what do we need? So <laughs> this is what we got. I mean, everything else after these top three don't matter to me right now. So we could be looking for a shooting guard. We could be looking for a center, right? If we're, That's if we trade Sabonis. Sabonis could be safe. Sabonis is a really, really good NBA player. But he could be safe. Um, I don't I don't know just yet, but I'm just so surprised that we just got Kevin Durant out of that. But like a Brandon Ingram, poor Zingas trade. I mean, B.I. has won some shooting guard in this time. It ain't perfect, but we know he can. Or I don't I don't want DeAndre Aiden, but James Harden in Sim is crazy. Now I don't know what happens if we turn it back to a shooting guard. I'm doing it. Why not? This is why not why not test it out? Why not also see what I could get for him first? Hold on. We might be keeping James, which is cool. But we could definitely trade Aiden for like Bam out of Bayer or something. Or what about Desmond Bain and Rudy Gobert? What the heck? Desmond Bain is coming off the bench. Or James Harden is. Rudy, I I love you, but again, at this point, I'm testing everybody's value. Cause the trades are so sweet. Like we can go get Jared Allen, save some money, which is interesting. Um, similar players in 2K terms. Uh, or maybe not. I didn't realize you had anchor gold. Uh, yeah, we might just keep what we got at the moment. Sabonis popped up. I'm sorry. I got to go back and get Sabonis. It's, again, it's not the perfect fit, but if Sabonis going to keep popping up, we're going to get Sabonis. All right. Now, the rest of our bench, we need to build with no first round picks and not a lot of money to be traded. Hey, I might want to film all of my videos with these settings, bro. Jaden Mc, Jaden McDaniels, welcome to the team. We also got a first round pick in that trade. So that's dope. Um, We really just need to run like a good eight man row, nine man rotation. Let's go get a good backup point guard. Brody, welcome back. I feel like I've traded you and traded back for you a hundred different times. So that's dope. Um, We need a backup forward and a backup center. 
and that'll be wraps. That will be it. And then we can sim on this 100% difficulty and see if it really live up to the high. Like, is 100% sim difficulty really that hard? I don't even know. Uh, I kind of have an idea. I've played this game before, but we're going to see. James Harden overall goes up. Kevin Durant's overall goes up too. Whoo! Oh, man. We putting everybody back in a position. We know them as. We know Kevin Durant is a three. I know James Harden is a one in his best times, you know? Brody, you get in the secondary position too. So let's see what the lineup looks like at the moment. It's real. It's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. If that team, even with a hundred sim difficulty, if that team ain't good enough, I don't know what good enough is. If this team ain't good enough, I don't know what good enough is. I say it again. Um, I'm gonna make KD secondary position a power forward though, <laughs> uh, because we don't have a backup four, so we need that. And Drummond, you getting back of four minutes too? I, I don't think we're gonna need it, but I'm just saying just in case. First game, 100% sim difficulty is going to be a <laughs> a team with Luka, James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Giannis put up 84 points in the game. All right, that's fine. Game two is a win. Yeah. Actually, part of me wants to have it. I know we already changed these settings a little bit. Um, I want the best players playing 40 minutes a night. Like, I want all of my best players playing 40 minutes a night. So, boom, James, you can go up a little bit. All right, cool, cool, cool. Because, again, I, the talent's going to have to be the talent. You know what I'm saying? Game three is a win, too. 100% sim difficulty. Sim difficulty better watch out. Because I, you know what I'm saying? The, the, boys are, the boys are hooping. The boys are three and two. I can't act like they undefeated. But, but... This was one of my favorite builds so far because we've never been able to accumulate this amount of talent. We have Kevin, Giannis, and Luca with salary cap on. Salary cap is on, y'all. We have all those dudes plus Sabonis and James Harden and Desmond Bain. Like, that is all-star level lineups. And if, if the sim difficulty was straight up 50, I feel like we'd be undefeated. I'm just saying. That's just me. Jokic won MVP. And we adjusted all the sliders, right? So we're seeing these are MVP numbers, 21, 10, and 7. You know what? You know who's having better numbers? So Demont Sabonis in real life, these look like his numbers, other than the three-point shooting split. But, like, it's very similar to what Demont Sabonis is doing in real life. Kevin Love is six man of the year. Wimby wins DPO as a rook. We get Christian Brown as most approved player. And Damian Lillard is clutch player of the year. Tyson Billups is coach of the year at 50 wins. Uh, we won 51 games. All things considered, that's pretty good. 100% sim... Oh, Lucas injured. 100% sim difficulty at uh at uh it's in 51 games is kind of crazy now here's stats again i think everybody's stats are going to be really down because of the way the settings are like shea went from 31 points to only 24 lebron dropped seven points per game Jokic, of course as we saw drop so uh we have all nba second team yeah said that he dropped 11 points so yeah every everybody suffered from the new settings but as long as we walk out of here as nba champions that's all i could really ask for you know what i'm saying that's all i could really ask for and we got luke on the all defensive team as always oh we also got Giannis here tari eason shout out to tari i love to see that man all right 51 wins is dope can we win a championship with the same difficulty at 100 remember who's on our team we have uh, Luca injured. James Harden's upset about something. Same thing with McDaniel's and Fontecchio and stuff. But whatever, they'll they'll, they'll be alright. I hope. I mean, I hope. I don't really know for sure, but I hope they're alright. Uh, Luca's playing through those injuries, so that's fun. Um, James Harden's back in the starting lineup. Let's get to simulator, man. We don't want to take any L's. 100% sim, sim difficulty tells us we will take L's, but we're not trying to take them. First round, we're going against Yo. If we don't sweep this team. Again, I understand the sim difficulty is up. This team is bad. Y'all got to the... Oh, you know what? You know what? You remember? the One of the frequency things was injury frequency. And the CPU's injury frequency was pretty high. Yup, so they have Anthony Edwards normally. He's injured. Okay, so that makes sense. <laughs> so we kind of lucked out. Game one win. Game two win. On our worst day, y'all came mess with us. Lucas back completely, so that's a dub. On our worst day, you can't mess with us. And then he got a cut on his head. He'll hoop through it. He's just on the cut. Oh, he's back from his cut on his head. Second round, we're going against the Rockets, who have... That was a team that we made a trade with. We traded them Dylan Brooks and Rudy Gobert earlier in the season. They also have Donovan Mitchell. Bones Highland is at the one. P.J. Tucker's down there. I think I got to check every team for injuries when we do this. So Rudy Gobert is playing through it. And that's it. Okay, so it's just not a great team. Um, Brandon Miller's off the bench. Same thing with Corey Kispert, Bobo. Not a great team. We're significantly better. 
We're significantly better. 100% similarity does not matter when you have KD, Giannis, and Luka. That's what... No. 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 Nope. 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 Nope, nope, nope. So we won the first three games. Then we lose this one by almost 20. Then we lose this one by five. And we lose this one by three. Lock in. Lock in right now. We're at home in mini, man. The crowd is going crazy, baby. It's when I get to the conference finals. They ain't been to a conference finals in a very, very long time. It's been 20 years. Let's make it happen, boys. And we do. Whoa, that was scary. And Donovan Mitu gave us 50. Whew, luckily his team did not show up and people, a lot of people fouled out. Who all fouled out there? I thought I saw, yeah, so we got Bones. Oh, not a lot of people, but two people. Two of their starters fouled out. All right, so here we go in the conference finals to go against the Clips who have Jokic and Jaren and Cade and Freddie. Uh, we're, again, objectively, we're a lot better, but with, with the Sim difficulty, with the Sim difficulty, they're better than us. They have the MVP, a DPOY, and good guards. We're better, but they look good too. Game one, see, see, I see it happening. We're gonna lose in five, bro. Okay, okay, maybe not. Well, I guess this still opens the door for five. Win this next game and everything's gone. Yes, I also noticed that uh, that Nurkic and Jokic are on the same team again, so that's fun. Um, Yeah, 2-1 us, 2-2, two, two. please big game. 3-2 us, no game sevens. And we get the game seven. The dreaded, dreaded game seven. Yoka said, I will not go down without a fight. Big game seven. 100% sim. We're down, but the boys fight back in the second quarter. It's a very close game. And in this close game, we are walking away victorious. And 2K's broken. It's broken, it's broken, it's broken. I'll be back. NBA Finals is Booker, Hero, Cam Johnson, Al Horford, Kevon Looney. We have them beat at literally every position. And I know our bench is better. I ain't even seen their bench. I know our bench is better. Because I just we just have the best bench and ball. Game one, we win. Y'all, 100% sim difficulty. Might be nothing. 2-1 us. 3-1 us. 100% sim. And there is a triple-double. What, Sabonis? Who did Sabonis? They thought they told us you weren't good enough. They told us you weren't good enough. Wow, that's insane. I was gonna go multiple years because I thought that there was no way we went at 100% sale, but we did it. I'm so proud of us. Now again, the trade difficulty stat made it so easy to go get, I mean, we we, we drafted Luca. we traded for Giannis, Kevin Durant, Sabonis, Harden, Bain, Russell, like, come on, bro. Come on, bro, what a video. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.